to your survival. You must learn to deal with these dangers, but may find this challenging at first.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to welcome you back to another Fallout 4 video live stream. We are playing Fallout 4 old school, as I've called it, because we have the brand new next gen update dropping on April 25th, I believe, is when people said that this new update was meant to be hitting us. So we're going to have to wait and see about that one. But I am very much excited to uh, to play it. But before that comes out, we're trying to do a lot of Fallout content. We've got so much Fallout content planned. We've got a lot of Fallout content happening um, for you guys to see. Very much excited by that. I'm just going to do this little chestnut quickly. We're just going to hide the sub count because whenever we get close to rounded numbers, people like to do the really annoying BS thing of unsubscribing and things like that just to try and piss you off. Oh, hello, small child. <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let them have that satisfaction today. So I'm excited to be covering Fallout 4. Ready for the new update to hit us, and I am very, very, very excited for that new update. So last stream we found Kellogg, we ended him, and now we have to try and find more information about Sean and the Institute. My client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Well, where do I begin? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, he mixed a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. You don't know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But it's true. am it's I true. right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? Uh, 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 yeah. Um, he's in hell. In hell. Where he belongs. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know... We may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? 
We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with us? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Let's get going, Nick. Let's go get an old brain to sing. Like a canary. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Lady? My dad says outsiders shoot people. I do. And I'll shoot you! <laughs> Imagine. Do you shoot people, lady? My dad says outside to shoot people. <laughs> he just bites, bites a giant nuke at his head. <laughs> that would be the funniest. <laughs> That's funny. The Fallout NPCs are hilarious, to be fair. Free your mind. I'm so close to level 10. Come on, boys. Level 10, baby. Let's go. Memory den. Let's uh, travel to this station so we're a bit closer. I've got that, Pit Boy. I have the Fallout 4 Pit Boy. Pretty cool. Got it in the Collector's Edition. Going back a couple of years ago now. I'm the type of guy. I'm the type of guy who likes to roam around. The music in this game is so good. I wish copyright on YouTube just wasn't the thing. Then we could vibe to music. What's that lady? What's that lady doing? Oh. She's ran. Oh. Oh, I see. It's walled off. How do I get in? Let's find establishment. Oh, I can hear creepy noises. Oh, Paco. Ah, excuse me. Excuse me. But I'm not here for combat. Oh. Ow. You son of a bitch. Ah. Don't be throwing Molotovs at me, you silly bitch. Pain. Ah. Oh no, I'm dead! Oh fuck that! No, I ain't dying. No, I ain't dying. No, dyin'. no way, sorry, no way. Mm -mm. No, this is a, this is a no death run. I'm afraid. I'm not dying. You can't kill me. Maybe we have to go that way round. We went like to the right and then round. Where now we, I think we have to go to the left and go round instead. Possibly. I'm the type of guy who likes to roam around. I roam from place to place and I roam from town to town. What? Nick, I'm scared. Nick, what's that? It's a ghoul! Nick, it's a feral ghoul. Creepy ghouls! Oh, great heavens! I thought I killed Nick then by accident. Oh, great heavens! Oh. Get back, Nick! Oh! Fuck was... I'm not good with this thing. Ah! Ah! Oh, he got plasmarized.
Well, we're taking that. Oh. This gun is crazy. I've never been good with these, like, the big guns. I like the smaller weapons. Oh, a gold watch. You want some? I'll give it you. Oh. He's a skirmish mutant. Oh! Left foot bone. Oh, great heavens. I'm aware you can get um, addicted to like stim packs, and I try and avoid that when I can. Go ahead and hide, little bleeder. Go ahead and hide, little bleeder. You're like immune to fire, bro. I, s I swear, I've thrown. I was gonna say, I swear I've thrown a whole ass molotov at his head. Nick. Hey. I'm all ears. Grab Jesus. anything useful. Count on it. You learn eventually to start in Fallout, like, uh, in the beginning you just pick up everything. Like, you can get your grubby little mitts on. And then as you play more of the game, you get used to, like, actually picking up the shit that's only important. Because it's so easy to, like, panic, grab everything. It's really easy to do. And then, you, it, like, you can do it, but... You start panic grabbing everything, you'll just end up being like over encumbered all the time and having to back and forth, which is never fun. So, killed those super mutants. This guy seems to be dead. Tactical. Tactical pipe rifle. What the hell? This guy seems to be dead. It's, uh, unfortunately, the way of the world out here. Dog tags. Good neighbor. We've arrived. Huzzah! We've arrived at good neighbor. Love when your phone's got, your phone's got, like, grime on it and you've got to scratch it off. It's so satisfying. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. 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 
tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? Oh. That, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? Why? What's it to you? Gotta know who's back and who and good neighbor. I ain't never seen you before. Maybe you're in the market for a little insurance? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Can I talk? What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. Sounds like Ellie come. needs to talk to us. You keep letting outsiders we walk should head all back over to us. the office one next day, chance we get. Be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Uh, you know, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? Yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? Is that what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Well, I remember who's in charge. I think, I think it's him. <laughs> Hello, robot. Hello. 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 <laughs> Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Oh. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't <laughs> you tell? Jesus Christ! Uh, yes. You certainly look like a woman. Yes. And that's all that matters, right? <laughs> now are you buying what I'm selling? Who wants for sale? So what kinds of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. <laughs> Jeez. Are we doing business? Let's see what you have. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Murder and mayhem at a discount. That thing is terrifying. <laughs> Whatever it is, that, that thing gives me the hibbie jibbies. <laughs> the Chinese officer sword. There's uh, lots of different weapons here. Uh, never a good idea to... Oh, the party starter, however. Uh, never a good idea to buy your weapons. Most of the time in Bethesda games, you are going to be tempted to buy a weapon. But to be fair, you really you really don't need to. There is, there is so many... There is so many things that you can just go and pick up and... You know, you don't need to be you don't need to be worried about buying buying things. Basically, you always want to be selling things. That's the main thing. So, like, I want to sell this. I really I want to sell the machete. Uh, things that I just know I'm not really going to be using very often. Um, anything basically, you just you just feel like you're just carrying around for the sake of it, like the road leathers. I've already got some of those back at my base. I'll sell those. Things like that. Just you don't really want to be buying much from vendors unless it's an absolute necessary, like a necessity to do it. But I understand some people are different. But how I play, that's what I tend to do. Just try and try and avoid, try and avoid it when you can. Try and avoid it when you can. It's not always necessary to have to buy things off people. Hey, hey there, Mister Gould. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Okay. Oh, new face walks into my store. 
And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Let's see what you got. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. So she has weapons again. At a different value to other people's weapons and things. She'll have different weapons. The only one weapon I'm kind of interested in is I really want the like an old school I want bobby pins always for just lot picking. But I want one of the old school revolvers, like the new Vegas revolver. If I can find one of those in Fallout 4, I think I'd really love that. That would be kind of my, my sort of go-to weapon. Hey. Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship? <laughs> Yowza. Got their own little, proper own little out, awesome. outworld here. Vault suit. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> These freaky guys. Girls, girls, girls. That's what I am. I'm a girl. I'm a girly girl. Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten me about me anymore. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. Who are you? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? Okay. Clearly she's had a bit of history with old Nick. <laughs> Nick, you sly dog. Nick, you. You dirty dog. Where are we going? Down here? Okay. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What's going on down here? Amari. Hello, Amari. Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Hi, Dr. Amari. Uh, let, uh, let Nick explain. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. A memory Earth. dig? Kellogg is already cold on the floor. Are you so mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. I did not know that. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. And so do we. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Is, is Nick compatible? Nick's an older model simp. Is he still compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Will this work? Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> let's see here. It's okay, Nick. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. 
There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption, and we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it, but what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Nice. So much knowledge was lost in the bomb trip. It's good to see someone trying to bring it back. It's getting the old memory chairs. Feeling very cyberpunk right now. <laughs> Me and my own personal Johnny. So there we go, let's go. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Let's go. The mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Oh! I'm being fused with Nick's mind. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working. What the? F the memories are quite fragmentary. Whoa. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the institute's location. What in the space shit is this? There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Madness. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the MCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boot? I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I, I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you know. Dad was either drunk or not around. 
I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It's gonna be fine. You'll... Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Don't know anybody here. And now you're Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Trying to make me feel guilty for Kellogg? It won't work. That guy's a crazy person. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate.
Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of grain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. This is it. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. This is the one. Here. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad it... The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. Open it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I got it. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son. God damn it. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It would be back to normal business before <coughs> too long.
Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. If anything like this had ever happened before, I'd never heard of it. Maybe a sign that the old man was losing his grip. Finding someone in the glowing sea wasn't going to be any picnic. But I never expected an institute egghead to give me so much trouble. Okay. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Whoa, that was trippy. So we got a lot of background information there on Kellogg, on Sean, on the Institute, the Corsa robots. We got a lot of information out of that chip. Movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. Where's Valentine? I'm fine. Dr. Amari? Let's start over. How are you feeling? Uh, am I okay? Are you seeing anything... anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield. Or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. 
if you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What did you say? What? What are you talking about? You, um, you feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Yeah, after that shit, I'm going on my own. Are you crazy? You started talking like the fucking dead guy. Sticking around, you'll need to join the freaks. Gotta stick together. Yeah, Bobby, no, no. The best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you said it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly Commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? The neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? It'd be cool to get him like a cowboy outfit to make him look like the ghoul from the TV show. That's pretty, pretty good speech there, Mr. Hancock. Right then, boys. Looks like I need to find a way to get down to the glowing sea. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a suit of power armor chilling on a boat. There was a person wearing it. Now, this might be stupid, but... <laughs> I might be able to... 
might be able to get something done. There he is. See him in the big suit power armor. Really? Just gonna really just start attacking me? You really gonna just start attacking me out of nowhere? Didn't even do anything. What does a pulse grenade do? Ain't my first gunfight, rookie. Ah, nut shot finished. Ah, stop it, dog, please. I don't like shooting the dogs. Welcome to the Fallout, baby. When they drop that bomb, <laughs> it's just when, it's just when you're like in the middle of a gunfight, and then they've got like the fucking radio in the background. <laughs> Let me come to the Fallout, baby. When you drop that bomb, <laughs> just fucking vibing whilst they're being shot. At. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Thought you could hide. Oh! Oh! Ah, what the fuck? Just had to play hero, huh? Ah! No! No, god damn it! No! Uh, I can't fight him. What the fuck's he even wearing? What even is that shit? Fuck it! I missed every one of those shots. Ah! Ah! Piss off. Uh, piss off. Fucking shoot me. Shooting him in the head. Can't shoot him through the stairs. Really? It's one of those 2015 games where you can't shoot people through the stairs. Fuck off, bitch. I don't give a shit if I get hooked on stims. Bitch. A stupid ass bitch. Fuck you. Little stupid ass bitch. Is that a fucking shock? Ow.
Ow. That was painful. How do I get inside and turn off this goddamn radio? That thing wasn't even a power armor. Are you joking? Excellent. Shut up. I've come I came to try and find I was coming here for the power armor. It's not even power armor this guy was kitted out in. Some big stupid metal thing. Jesus. Dog got c the dog got c fucked. I need a fusion core for like a fresh suit of power armor or something. What's in here? Gumdrop. Buff out. Shit! Yeah. Oh. Damn it. Stupid. That's so stupid. Ow. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. We got anything for radiation? Aqua girl. You become totally undetectable when submerged. It's not ideal. Um that chem resistant maybe that would be helpful I guess I mean, the only other thing would be to to essentially go back to the go back to the vault and maybe go back to the vault. There was that really special weapon down there that we should have unlocked once we got some bobby pins. Am I the only one left? Am I the only one left? Yes. Here it is. Right, it's master. So, I want to make a new save. Won't be able to pick this. Piss! I'm not going to be able to get it yet. It's really annoying. Um, sanctuary. Oh, can't fast travel from this location. Great! So I get him all the way down here for nothing. Fantastic. <sighs> Take me back up.
Science. I need to level up my science. I need a fusion call for it, really. We can get that. Miscellaneous items going here. Put it like that. Keep all my magazines on me. And then in here. See if that trader woman ever appears again. If that trader woman ever appears back in the settlement again, just sell her a bunch of shit. <laughs> really is the idea. Tell her everything. Do, do, I do, do, do. I hope those raiders are paid for what they've done. Fusion core in this thing wasn't very full, which is the only thing that worries me.
I just basically want to keep heading in a straight line. The fuck is shooting me?
Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. May the glow of Adam guide your path. What the hell? Right there, stranger. You approach Adam's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Uh, 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 I need help. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Oh, good heavens. What? How did I miss any of them? Are you joking? What the fuck is going on? Thank you. 
I mean, I don't know if that's completely fucked up my story in any capacity, but... Oh, there's got to be in game and just killed everybody. Sick. Everyone's dead. Where, what the fuck do I, where do I go? What the, you go outside of the map? Oh, sod this for a giggle. This place is out in the sticks. What the hell? We're technically outside of the map. Or well, the conventional map, that is. I don't... I don't know where the hell we're going. Oh fuck, 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 get, get inside there. Send him after me. Are you 
Virgil? You know damn well I am. What are you doing here? You have information I need. And yet I have no idea who the hell you are. I think we both better start explaining. You start. I'm just looking for information on the Institute. The Institute? So, they did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? That doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed, that's your problem. But I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there. But I want something in return. What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my... condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab, and... Well... Look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? You help me, and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Sure. Lots of them. Don't bullshit me. More than one of them, and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. 
you are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. What do I need to do? Listen up. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. <laughs> not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Where is this science skill? Where is that? That's armor. Gun nut. Where's science then? I thought science would be one. Blacksmith. Armor and blacksmith. Right, so I'll get back outside here. There you go. can't believe I survived. My car is very much depleted though, so I definitely cannot risk taking that bad boy out again. <gasps> the cattle lady! Take it all! Take it all! She just fucking duped me? Cow lady! Cow lady! Wait, cow lady, no! 
No, cow lady! No! Miss cow lady! I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that back again. The James Bond pistol. Fun fact, that was the one pistol I used like in my entirety of my playthrough. Hey Carla, need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. I'll take a look. Sure. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. Uh huh. Probably wasn't actually worth doing chasing after her anyway, because she wouldn't have. I have 15 rounds for that. Gamma rounds got 150 of them. You think you're safe? You're not. That's how they always get you. Sick. Thanks for the words of wisdom, you cheerful bugger. Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Oh, yeah, we got the fallout. Got the Fallout TV advert on on the stream. Hell yeah! Got the Fallout advert playing on the TV. That's pretty cool. Rocket ship tonight. Rocket sixty nine. Rocket sixty nine. Get to the radio. Trying to play that old frequency. Course this signal can be found.
detected. Curious. What? Who's there? Somewhere detected. Who ever did you? A smashing, smashing! I ran the only way that wasn't where the enemies were. Shite. Why have I not been using these pipe rifles sooner?
there. We're getting closer. Oh, yeah, fuck. Good thing I just tanked damage. What a shithole of a little place, why would you make this? Horrible. Horrible little shithole place, isn't that nice? Bingo. 
Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Right, that is doing my nothing. Turn that shit off. Right. Turn that shit off. He's back. The courser's on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. Yep. Yep. Obviously, I said yeah. No. No. Don't you just hate the people?
Gentlemen, now on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. I'm having a proper firefight here. Sweet. Whoever put the melee button next to the throw the grenade button needs a better job. They killed two people with one grenade then. Holy shit. Killed two people with one grenade.
Come on, we can get this door open. Nice. All back to original position. The courser's nearing the elevator. Last mistake. Ah. 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 Uh.
What did I literally just pick up? Tell you what, my breathing must be funny, you know. I keep getting pains in my chest. Diary. Plan? Nice. Oh.
Hacking this is beyond me. First time, let's go. Yes. What do I get for opening up this? Is that a fusion core? Fuck yeah. Fusion core for a suit of power armor. Let's go. Kaz hates Kaz hates Limit Mine Crash Cares, hates, crafts, shit. You don't have to do this, please. Come here. Hey. Hey. Are you here for the synth? Synth? What synth? If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? And just who is this synth, anyway? A fugitive. Runaway Institute property. I'm shutting her down and bringing her back. You, on the other hand, will die like the rest of them. Oh, yeah? <coughs> Dickhead. Fuck with me, boy. Got an RPG. Don't worry, darling, I'm coming. Security's too tight. Security's too tight. He... He deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but... I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. Relax, lady. It's gonna be fine. I guess... 
I don't really have a choice, do I? The guard put the password in his toolbox. Over there, under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal. And open the door. Hey. He... He deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but... Hey there. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Who are you? My institute designation is K198. But I prefer Jenny. So <laughs> yes, I'm a simp, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think he'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Bye, Jenny. Enjoy being a synth. Oh, great heavens. Whoa. That is kind of fucking awesome. That's a cool view.
Sweet. Need to go back to Sanctuary. Deposit, deposit, deposit. You always want to be carrying around hardly anything in the Fallout games. You want to stay light, nimble. So straight away here, my junk, deposit all the junk into there. The apparel box, put you know the black glasses in there, the Corsa uniform, one of everything into here. Now, as far as the weapons go, again, I want to be looking to put most of these away. Plus, also, look at what weapon types you've got. So, for example... Is a good example. So that takes cells, but so does that laser pistol. This takes cells, but also so does this. Um, wherever it is. Laser pistol, that takes cells. So probably want to put the laser pistol away. Can we customize this? Hey, Mama. How are you getting along?
All right, that's done. All right, let's head over to Good Neighbor. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? Do you know anything about decoding Corsair chips? A Corsair chip? You fought a Corsair? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Corsair. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well... They're the only ones I know that even have a chance of cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. The Railroad? Sounds Jeez, good. Doctor. How do I find them? I can't contact them directly. They usually come to me when they have a synth that's escaped the Institute and wants new memories. But I do have a code phrase. Some kind of clue if I ever needed to find them on my own. Follow the Freedom Trail. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic, but hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Is that a flamethrower? Seven and A. Some sort of code. Seven A. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common, the start of the Freedom Trail. Feast your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great City's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more.
What the fuck is that? Yep, fuck off. Not going there ever again. What the fuck is that? Swan, I never even knew that was a thing. That's what you want! <sighs> Listen, I don't want this. You wanted this. I thought that was a Mr. Hansy. Fuck this place, it's awful. Every place I go to, there's people trying to kill me. What the fuck is going on? I just... What the hell's happening? I just want to find my way out. Look, nobody is nice. Wait, actually, actually, hang on a second. <laughs> I have not needed to shot those people. I might have to. I might have just shot those people unnecessarily. I hope you decide to become one of the 
pillars of the community. Oh. Welcome. We're always looking for new members. Here to learn about our movement? Hello, Hello neighbor. neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. Do you ever feel like your whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. What's your movement all about? I'm glad you asked. Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. I have some more questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything. Except have a willing spirit and open your heart to the possibility. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What if I change my mind after I join? There's absolutely no obligation, but trust me, once you see how your life is transformed, you won't want to leave. Believe it or not, we have never had a single pillar leave after joining. There's not many groups like ours that could make that claim, are there? Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? I don't have any more questions. Good. You owe it to yourself. And I hope you're to ready to chance. take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Yes, I am. All right then. Fantastic. You won't regret it. I promise you. We haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. Don't be shy. Just follow me. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Right this way, neighbor. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a... You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road toward your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? I'm going to make a note to come back and do this later with nothing in my inventory.
Charles V. Right, this railroad thing was the bit that I always used to get confused by. How to find the secret railroad in Fallout 4. Let's try and figure this out. Freedom Trail. Someone there!
me, you coward! Hmm, it spins. So that's not right. Right, so we figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. We need to spell out the word railroad, so. Uh, oh, so it starts with R. No, oh, you gotta go all the way back round again. Wait, do you? Wait. Yeah, you do. Okay. Just keep spinning. There. Hey. Oh. Oh. Ah.
Railroad. Let's fucking go! Hell yeah, that was crazy. Let's go. The railroad. Boom. Whoa! Right there. Hey! Who the hell are you? I... Not your enemy. I followed the Freedom Trail. Look Damn, my character is beautiful. Look at her face. Your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Make something up. Uh, Dr. Amari. Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help. Breaking the code on his courser chip. You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that would give even Gloria a run for her money. <laughs> Flash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating her, you might want to show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the Desdemona. Hopefully, we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let her in. She's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. She killed a courser. There's no way she's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. One second, just gonna make a quick call. Right. Load that back up. Sweet. We're back on. Awesome. Don't try anything, stranger. We having fun yet? Coding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong, the least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, Des. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages. Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code. But once he's done, we get the courser chip. 
fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little pussy chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Let's poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is going to be... Someone Come on, right babe. Here Show me that pattern. Where is it? The Wait. They're using the same logarithmic well, function the as the key generator. Oh, Could be weeks luck. before we get it. Free. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Don't we all? Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet face now. Come on, babe. There we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Dev. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. Don't try anything, stranger. Let's get it. I'm gonna go pick up my power armor. Gonna go say hi to Virgil. Get my full eight hours. Sanctuary revival project has really helped. Take my mind off things. See you again. Manage to get what you need. Do you have anything for me? I'll take that as a yes. Can't say I'm too surprised. 
You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Does it matter? No, you're right. It doesn't really. The point is that you got it. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I've got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. <laughs> I need your help with these schematics. Oh yeah? What are they for? All you need to know is that it's for a machine that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my baby. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. I'd like to help, but you know my situation. I've got to deal with the immediate problem first. I haven't forgotten that you need my help. Remind me as soon as you found out what that settlement needed from the Minutemen.
if we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a Finn is, right? Yeah. I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? I risk my life for people every day. Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs. Normally, we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways we can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Desdemona. Ah, the Corsair Killer returned. And what brings you back here? Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. Even if one of my own agents told me that, I'd be skeptical. And from a stranger? Listen, you're obviously talented. I believe you'd be a great asset to our organization. So, prove it. Run the op with Deacon. If everything checks out, then we can talk about this plan of yours. Desdemona. Come here again if we need to meet up. We'll know you're coming. You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So, tell me. Why did you vouch for me? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Mm. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. 
Do you need any? Let's see what you got. All salvaged. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? That's awesome. It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs, symbols with to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go, rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going.
Got another rail sign. Oh, like the railroad missions, they're really cool. Being part of like a secret organization. Oh shit. Whoa. I didn't know this pistol was like a Glock. Oh shit. And another. We're probably close. Are you playing on PC or Xbox? I'm playing on Xbox. Uh, just because I found the deal. I know there's a deal happening on both platforms, but I just I just grabbed it on Xbox. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say mine is in the shop. Trust me. Mine is in the shop. You just say mine is in the shop. No matter what he says. Got it. Hey. Hey. Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. So I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna probably grab it on PC there. too. About goddamn time you hit Before the sailings. I'm gonna definitely grab it on PC too, to be fair. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon, but that little slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dumb sin sons of bitches. If I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. I'm goddamn trapped. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the guy. I'm gonna see how much it is on Steam for Fallout 4, and then obviously grab it on there too. Mines. Chrome domes. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. Wait, they have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. I tried to play Fallout 76, but it was awful. It's terrible. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? Make a distraction, sniper fire. You scavenge anything that can help us? We're risking our lives out there. Oh, hell. I suppose I could spare a few things. I don't know what your death's on my conscience. God. You've done enough for us. Damn straight. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? We're assaulting the base. Once we strike, use your rifle to pick off anyone you can see. A lot of lives are depending on us. You silver tongued son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, I'll take a couple shots. But if I see any of them coming for me, I'm running for the hills. We're done. Ricky Dalton. Excuse me. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my reason. I couldn't get into 76, man. I was trying it and I just couldn't get into it. Go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. I was trying to get into it, but the donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously though? Maybe it's cuz I was trying to solo it. I didn't enjoy it. That, there wouldn't be any railroad left. 
Tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Yeah, you need friends. Yeah, def definitely. I tried to play it solo and it just was not enjoyable. Let's head down there then. Wait, what the fuck? Do you see how fast he's gone? You can get it for free at the minute, I think, on Amazon Prime. Like, with Prime Gaming. I might try and cop, cop, the, cop it for free. And then, uh... That goddamn power armor? Bro, is that just... What the f... Is that power armor? Right. Um... Mainly... No, wings. No, swings. Panels. Mm. Blammed. No. Opened. Okay, opened. Likeliness 2. So what's like opened? Um, prepared? No, pepper. No, oh, dapper. Opened, dapper. No, dapper's not really. Earned. Danger wanted. Wanted's got a likeliness of two. Wanted. Wait, what? You click on brackets. Wait, I didn't know that. Have I been doing this wrong the entire time? You can find brackets you can click on and shit to get rid of duds and give you more tries. Really? Oh, uh, shit. Um, oh, like that? Dud removed. Okay. Dud removed. removed that removed when a bracket starts with the thing and ends oh Really? Holy shit. Shit. Danger. No. What was it? Mainly? It was... It was... It was opened... Wanted. Earned. 
locked out. Shit! Damn it. Locks you out for two minutes. Damn it. There's nothing... Alright. It'll be different words now though, won't it? So go through every one of these until it highlights. Makes a really satisfying noise. Formal. Like the skulls. Uh, leap. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Um, open door. That was just a fluke, but sick. Let's get inside of this shit. It's power armor, baby. <laughs> That's kind of mad. Okay. Haven't got a helmet, but fuck it. It's power armor. No. No. You know, it's power armor. I'm not going to say no to that, am I? <laughs> it's kind of mad. <laughs> Thank you for the help there, Sif. I actually did not know that was even... I, just, I was just always smashing random codes. Let's go. Power armor, Tom. We're in. Yeah, it's got some missing pieces. It's all right. But be ready for Gen ones and twos. So it can't break the code. Can't break the code on that one. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen ones and twos. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the human ones and two? <laughs> he looks so dirty. <laughs> didn't start off as nigh perfect copies of human beings. I'm a fallout vet, dog. <laughs> <laughs> about point. three hours. About Gen three hours into fallout. Fall. It's my childhood. It's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Yeah, I'll try and download the free version of, um... I'll try and download Fallout 76 on the PC and shout you when that's done. And we could hop on that, maybe, and you can teach me it. All the old arguments flare up. The and then, um, and some others won't run missions like this. 3,000 hours. <laughs> Shit. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. Yeah, I'll get the free version of Fallout 76, and then we'll try and jump on that at some point, and then. Maybe some point tonight, even. I'll grab some food and then I'll let you know when I'm on it. And then um, I'll try and grab the Fallout Fallout 4 on my PC and then I can do a PC run. An Xbox, this can be my Xbox run. And then I can do a PC run uh, on the 25th when the next gen update comes out. Prototypes deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. This one was dangerous.
Looks like Maven managed to hide something that would. Is someone around. present? Tinker managed to turn on the defenses and barely slow the course of the Hey, probably saved some lives. Fallout is my second favorite game series. I mean, I believe you, bro. 3K hours? That's crazy. It's one of those games where you could. Like, if somebody said to me, I've got three hours in. You know, 3,000 hours in. Fallout 7. You know, in Fallout in general. In the Fallout games, I'd believe them. Because. It's a big enough game to have a lot of time in. Yeah, baby! That one's on fire. <laughs> I like how the HUD changes when you're inside the... When you're inside the power armor. I just pick everything up, that's my biggest thing, it's like not to pick everything up and weigh your character down. <sighs> Did you watch the show? I loved the show. Me and Helen binge watched it. It was really good. Absolutely loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Thought the show was amazing. Another active tournament. We didn't have time to trick the defenses up ahead. Power them up and we can give our... I wanted to watch it in one day too, but I just, Helen didn't finish work soon enough, so. It was hard, because they're all like, they're a good length. Like, like it's like eight, over eight hours of content to watch. Which I obviously wanted to do it in one sitting, but it was cool. We broke it down into two. It was a good sit. It was a good show, though. I loved it. Genuinely loved that show so much. My fa it was. It, I'm a massive Last of Us nerd. Like how you talk about Fallout, I'm like that for The Last of Us. And in all honesty, The Last of Us show probably didn't do as good as the Fallout show, to be fair. And that's like a, a Last of Us diehard saying that. The Fallout show impressed me more. Novice, let's see how long it takes Tom to hack this. If it's novice, let's see how long it takes me to sort. <laughs> Boom. Okay. I want to try and do it properly without guessing. Let's see if I'll probably get the answer within like 10 seconds. Yeah, the last of the show was really good. But the Fallout one was better. And that's like a Last of Us diehard saying that, so. Sif will probably guess this code now. Yeah, it's the best game adaptation. 100%. 100%. There's two duds removed. Can we get any more removed before we guess? Got another one removed. Open door. Is 
you get the little reference. You now get why my character's called Lucy. Grenade! Boom! <laughs> I will limit the pain I inflict if possible. Ah! Shit! Critical failure. <laughs> the amount of Easter eggs was kick ass though, to be fair. I did love that. I was like, you know what your audience are, and who they are, and how much they're going to be searching for all of your nerdy stuff. And they did not disappoint. of Easter eggs in the Fallout show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand here. Bingo. Don't let it size for you. Why are you giving this to me? Our best agents carry special ordinance made by Tinker Tom. He's... Well, you'll know when you meet him. I didn't meet him. a vote of confidence. Ooh. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. 
It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the Chrome Domes on this side of the minefield. I'm going up. Someone present. Hey. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. Appre Was all of that worth it? All I know is that Dez authorized the op. And I just hope we didn't go through all that for the new coffee maker. See you soon. Yeah, that's true, actually. I actually didn't think about that until watching the show. I didn't realize. I actually didn't realize the same man, yeah, the fact that there's <laughs> growing my power armor collection like I am, man. Carla, need to pick something up? Right. Mm -hmm. I'll take a look. Sure. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. Atom bomb lady, I love you so, I will never let you go. The music is the best, and obviously, for the annoying YouTube copyright system, we, we can't always play it, but god damn, I, I do love it.
need to get gun nut eventually. My perks are awful. You probably. I wonder. <laughs> they got me. I wonder. Yeah, the second that song comes on, I lose my shit. This game is just so addictive. Played all the GTAs. Said that was my mission. Completed all of them. And then I've come on to Fallout now because of the show. And oh, it's so good. Can you believe it? I can't believe this game is 10 years old next year. 10? Came out in 2015. That's mad. 2025? That's crazy. It's crazy. I don't want to set the world on fire. And the new girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Deacon, what the fuck happened to you? Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. If you didn't have the prototype, I'd think you're both lying through your teeth. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He How does Deacon keep changing? Why does he look like Agent 47 from the Hitman games now? Welcome to the railroad. Agent. Woo! Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Wham! Bam! Alakazam! <laughs> Secrecy. Half the time we're gonna be spent playing Fallout 76 with just those screaming lyrics to songs. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. No code name. More options. Professor, fixer. Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Bullseye, Charmer, Whisper. Charmer, I think, is pretty cool. Call me Charmer. Charmer. Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded it? secrets. So be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Because Deacon's a spy. <gasps> no. Tell me it's not true. Tell me Deacon's not a lie. Am I going to have to put a bullet in Mr. Deacon? No, he can't be. He can't be. You're lying, Sif. You're lying to me. Fallout 76 is even better because they have all the Fallout 4 songs plus some new fire ones. Like. Deacon's record is Testimona best. told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. Country roads. Oh my god, really? It's got country roads in it. Us knowing hardly anything That's mad. Oh, one second. Has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. This is Charmer. She did the switchboard app with Deacon. She's a full agent, effective immediately. Tell me what you need, I'm Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard. We're so short-handed, I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. 
<laughs> you boys making business calls all day long, bro. Got business calls on the go. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stop your boys getting all the business calls, taking all the, the executive meetings. Will be near there. Use the escape right. tunnel in the back to gaming. The serious out. topic at hand. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Country road, <laughs> take me home, West Virginia. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, I can't wait now. I'm, I'm actually gassed to get into Fallout 76 now. I've got someone to play it with. I've got someone to meme with whilst we play. That's going to be fun. Take me home to the place where I belong, West Virginia. Mountain mama, take me home, a country road. Country road, take me home to the place where I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road. Right, where are we going? Literally 180, and run that way. Do do do. Do do do. Mission wise, I think we're doing pretty well. The speed run, the speed run's going good. We're staying on topic. I'm not doing any of the side quests on this playthrough until we're finished. Trying to, I'm actually being clever. I'm trying to finish this game and then save the side quests until after the 25th of April. Because then we're going to get the special the special um, update for console and PC, I think. So, I think I'm going to save all my side quests. Obviously, I have to do a few side quests, but... Trying to get the bulk of my side quests saved until later. What ending am I doing? Well, you see, Sith, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've played this game. So, I actually can't remember what endings there are. Caravan or Raider? What? Just me. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? Alright. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Hi. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more uh, armed. You're with our mutual friends, yes? That's right. It's always nice to make new friends. I've done the Brotherhood of Steel ending. Um, Minutemen are always bore me. Um, because of Vir not Virgil, what's he called? Oh, what's he called? I can't remember him. The guy is the leader of the Minutemen. He always bores me. I don't like him. He's very boring. Preston. He doesn't. I don't like him. I, I'm. I'm always gonna go for. I have always done Brotherhood of Steel as a kid, so I'm gonna go for Railroad this time. No one likes delays. It's bad for business. My current package has been in my possession. So I'm going to go railroad ending this time round. Whatever that one might be. The package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So if you could. So I just need to wipe out a few raiders. Done. <laughs> I like you already. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. 
So if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. <laughs> There's another settlement that needs your help. <laughs> I'm having to join the railway with all this shit. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you do this? Not that. The railroad is the only one standing up. But where is what? I know the I know the settlement needs your help. Feel like that is just Preston. All over. Like when you see people dressed as him at Comic Cons walking around. Another settlement needs your help. <laughs> oh, <it's kind> of <laughs> you saw so what I was doing then, didn't you? <laughs> You're dead. You're dead, bucko. Huh? Adam Bomb, baby, I love you so. I will never let you go. Oh, great heavens! <laughs> Bro, it's like... <laughs> like a bloody Call of Duty mission. Bravo 6, going dark. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Bravo 6, going dark. Enemies eliminated. What's this? What's the objective? Wait until night time for old man Stockton. Oh. Hey, boys. <clears throat> Everything looks clear. This is H222. Hello. H2. Here's the person I talked to you about. Uranium fever. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting Uranium used to. Uranium fever. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Uranium fever. You know the thing is going where you hold A. Oh my god, you can! You did it! You did the thing is going where you wiggle. <laughs> he can wiggle them. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Fuck that beeping. No! Holy shit. I heard the beeping and I was like, oh no. The old man didn't die, did he? The old man alright? Where's the old man? Where's the Got some confirmed casualties. 
I think the old man's okay. I don't, I don't see a body. Hey, H2. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. I don't want to feel any there. more danger. Don't shoot. I'm not going to shoot you. You're all right, pal. Don't shoot. I'm, I'm not going to shoot you. Right? I heard about you. Walk the Freedom Trail, clear. Here for the package. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. <laughs> all good. Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. I told you right, H2. We'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. More raiders? Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Hell yeah. Uranium fever. <laughs> Bravo 6, move out. We've got a synth and we're trying to relocate him. Weapons hot. Finish them. Bravo 6, we've got contact. I'll be up ahead. Bravo 6, we've got contact. Keep moving, H2. Keep moving. Jesus. We're going to make Charlestown a safer place, one asshole at a time. Hey, who's there? Piss. Oh, fuck. Guess we're cleaning house. Keep moving. What the fuck was? Oh, great heavens! Jesus Christ, what was that? It's kind of mental. H2, keep up. Keep up with us, boy. We can catch up at Tycon. We just gotta make it there alive first. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. The house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. Rog. Goodbye, H2. Sure you're never followed here. It's all our asses if you are. Hmm. 
Gonna go to sleep. Decided to chill in the wall. Hey, Doc. The H222 situation <laughs> appears to have been resolved satisfactorily, but there's yet more to be done. <laughs> Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. <laughs> the stranger. <laughs> I'll get it done. Details away to the dead drop. Uh -huh. Right, this is just more work for. I've done your job. Desdemona. Glad to have you aboard. Before you joined us, you wanted my help with something. I'm listening. We're the big iron on your ship. I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me into the Institute. So that's what the Corset ship was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation. That the Institute could build something so... But we've got work to do. This is our top priority now. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. We have the big iron on this. Diamond it. City is under opposition control. Tom, ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. Here you go. Uh, let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? <laughs> she. She. <laughs> Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. Those institute eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. I knew you could figure it out, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit. But they're missing a ton of engineering detail. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. By the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. Nice work, Tom. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to Carrington, though. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. I know Pam was running numbers on a good site for a new safe house. It's got a workshop, good location, and the full blessings of her predictive algorithms. Once you set up the safe house, we'll drop off the materials there. Or you could build your own platform somewhere else. I guess. Your call. Welcome to the fed. Confirmed. Agent Charmer has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution, <laughs> a new distribution center needs to be established. I get to set up a new base? That's cool. Agent's temperature is irrelevant to this conversation. <laughs> Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Mercer Safe House. Glad you signed on.
The hell is the Ripper? The hell is that? You motherfuckers. I'll kill all you can push her. Uh, that's what you want. Uh, Look at all the blood. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. I've got a few. All salvage. Uh huh. You're here to trade. Let's trade. Oh, keep getting like, like I'll I take keep a breathing sure. funny. All salvage, but nothing's done. No, I had 69 bobby pins. That's... Best part is the base, the base editor. We just get to run around and absolutely generate up as much resources as humanly possible I get a nice big sweep
I'm gonna replay it. Time to mod the fuck out of Fallout 4. Hell yeah. I mean, you got to. Was it I delivered such a brilliant show? Like the number of people. The amount of people who've come back into this now that the show came out. Wild. Trash gun. Be cool if you could recycle the skeletons and like use them for bone. Biggest steel reserve. Tidy up this entire land landmass. Hiding back here, little scraps of rubbish. The fact that you can like go in and like grab store things and then also just trash things, scrap them, use them for the resources. It's ungodly the level of detail that you can get into with the base building techniques. It's crazy. We need a gear. Sure, we can get a gear from something. Accept it. Accept the death. We move. Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me it didn't save any of that progress. Really? It really didn't save, like, fast travel into the diner, any of that shit. No, oh god, we're gonna have to do all of that shit.
<clears throat> I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten it. I'll take a look. Sure. All salvage. Keep it up. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Bean. I shall. I shall keep it. I shall keep it going. I'm gonna go and do all of that shit again. Scrapping all of the stuff. Yeah? You're not replacing me. Please, please help. I don't want to die. I said keep your mouth shut. Please. Okay. Here we go. Excuse me. Thank God you showed up when you did. I think that thing was really going to do it. You saved my life. I can't thank you enough. My kids don't have to grow up orphans thanks to you. <laughs> the fallout context of anything.
That I love. I love doing the bobby pins. Keep two two little vintage cars together. Sith, I'm in need of assistance. I'm in need of you. This thing requires this thing. And how does this thing go to this thing? Trying to attach the wire. Wire, wire won't connect. You need the other parts of the teleporter. Oh, okay. So store this. Wire this into the same power grid as the beam admitter. I haven't got a beam admitter. Oh, I've got to build the fences.
I need a gear. I haven't got a gear. Nothing has gears. I need gears. Are you shaking the? Are you taking the piss? How'd you make a gear? Where's the best place to get gears from?
Right, that was a very long way about going being very quiet and very silent to actually do a job, but I think all jobs are done now. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of mm -hmm. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Why is that a bad job? Runner to the bottom of the totem pole in the railroad. Just a hair above tourist. Being HQ's runner is a cut above field work, I suppose. Ah, someone's got to do it. We'll be seeing each other. Hey, you. Randolph safe house has been... Des wants you to check it out. Checking out dead drops is your job. Not when it could be a big old trap from the inn. Once you take care... God the Institute doesn't find us here. There is no sign. Setting human machine interface to 100%. Good evening, agent. My data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cat. Free war cat? Unable to click. Nice. That sounds correct. You own You got a Geiger counter bug? Mine is in the shop. Y your HQ's new gal, right? Th thanks for setting up this place. Kind of wish you would have set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It, it, it is safe, right? Are you all right? You seem a little jumpy. I've had too many close calls. I used to work at HQ like you, but after the last HQ went lights out, I just had to get away. Enough about me. We got a package incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route. Got a new guy. New tourist that's gonna help. He, he, he's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up, and our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. If it'll help us in, count me in. I knew I could count on you. I wish I could tell you what you're going up against. But I got no idea. I'll mark it on your map. Go there and do what you HQ types do. Then K8's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. A lot of backing and forthing in this game, but thank God uh, fast travel exists. Mm. Hi. Uh, you got the platform yeah. built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. Easy. I did. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredients pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe house. You find those, and we'll. Thanks, Tom. I'll find them. I don't doubt it. For one, after you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site. Pretty sure I've already got everything. Pretty sure.
military grade circuit board biometric scanner we've got this relay dish that thing First place to check. Back at my base. Biometric scanner and military grade circuit board. Biometric scanner. Sick. And what's the other one? Military grade circuit board. Military grade circuit board. Sick. Saves us a job. Have a little sleep. Have a little snooze. Well rested. And then shoot over to Mercer Safe House. Sick. Along, the bastards have been teleporting personnel to the surface.
Right now, Sith. <laughs> Sith. I need a Sith assistant. I can't, this thing needs five, this, alright, this thing needs linking up to something, and I, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's not doing the thing, it says it requires five power, and then it highlights all these different places. But... All these are all red and some of these are white and I just I just don't get it. You don't have enough power? I gotta make more power. Generator. Suramac Kura what does that say? C R Tag those resources. Oh I don't have enough power. I need to make what? One more Jenny? Eventually, I'll get this done. This will be like the last big thing I do is get this teleporter set up and then I'll save and stream put fallout 76 on download run downstairs and finally make a bit of food and then we'll be cooking All right Finally, we done it. Hot dog. We did it. Wires everywhere. This big freaky looking Status TARDIS. Report. You got activity there. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's time you learn about Patriot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the name. Sounds encouraging. There's a man or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helped since escape to freedom. Mm -hmm. Dozens mm -hmm. of synths owe him their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Okay, I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. 
Tom, talk to me. Reading up the clearance report. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Right. So this is big moment. We're gonna have to cut a few corners with the scan. Big moment. Let's go. So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right. Feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Oh, man. Uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on. I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about Synth, about the Institute's plan. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the RF. We got it. Find a way to save them. Nobody else can. Now what a crazy. What a, a crazy set of circumstances. I'm in. Welcome to the Institute. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Useless. Here I can we go. only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have 
the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Sean? Broken. I can't pick this. But need the key. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Is it is he? Sean. What? I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. <laughs> I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who father? is Father? Father, help me! Where is he? He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! What the fuck? Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. What the He's fuck? Type, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. Let's start. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please. Just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod. What? And searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. 
Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Yeah, you lost me. I don't see the point of any of this. You don't see the connection. Let me try to explain. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation... and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. 
that's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director, why you? I was the most qualified for the position, obviously. I've lived my life within these walls, dedicated to science like every other member of the <laughs> You are younger than your child. Let's go, chat. <laughs> Just having my head reeling right now, like my head's going down a, a wormhole of what the fuck's going on, like, it's been ages since I've played this game. Played it for the first time back in 2015 and then probably not touched it for the next 10 years. But that, I, I didn't even remember that was part of the game. My head's spinning. I remember blowing this place up, I don't mean, <laughs> that was the ending I played, I nuked it. For myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything. I know, guys. We've been streaming for like five hours, and then yesterday we streamed for six. So, like, you know, 11 hours to complete Fallout. Let's go. I assure you that you are better off with us. I did the speed run. Dismissive question mark. Don't know. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We do we really do it, do Seth? Have humanity's best do we do it? Heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. Sif, do I do it? Sif, I want to do the railroad ending. If I say yes, do I fuck everything up, Sif? Sif, what do I do? <laughs> tell me. Tell me, Sif. Tell me what to do. If I say no, will he be pissed and, like, everybody dies? If I press A, can I continue with the railroad? You still have a little bit. So what do I... Does it matter if I say yes or no to this? I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. If I, basically, if the I say Institute yes to this question, do I get locked into a sp the Institute reason. ending, for example? Please take or, some time. Or, to know it. Uh, am I allowed Make to people you'll be working roam with. around? You want to introduce yourself to the division head, Dr. Fillmore in facility. You figure it out? You bastard. You bastard. finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Can I just kill him? Like... <laughs> All the other kids with the bum don't kick the matter and matter Faster than my bullets. <laughs> All the other kids with the bum don't kick the matter and matter and I'll run my gun. All the other kids with the bum don't kick the matter run, better run. Faster than my bullets. <laughs> All the other kids. Oh. Hello. Hey there. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to father, but to all of us. He's he's dead. <laughs> no witnesses. <laughs> just all the other kids. No, I won't. I don't want to hurt us him. He, he, I just I just I just shot him. Oh, oh, oh. Put him, put him on the couch. 
Put him there. There he goes. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Oh! Witnesses! <laughs> Do I, have I broken the game? Have I actually broken the game at this point? I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna probably. <laughs> I'm gonna probably load back to the point where I didn't just shoot my son in the head. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave you. Bye, you creepy old man. Hi. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Thank you. The mom, that's what I did the first time. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. Get the third primary drive servo. Is it true Team 7 and 10 who said it was the most distant team in Shadow Clan? I was not sure you'd want Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow. <laughs> no. Your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? Both help sense? The railroad's in the business of helping sense too. That makes us friends. What? The railroad? As in the railroad? I kept sending sins to the surface, hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. How did you help the synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? The SRB is the exception, and unfortunately, they control which synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from Let's say bioscience can get a hand-picked synth on surface detail. And it turns out the railroad was waiting for them. Wow. Why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us. Except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape so they can have a better life. You've saved a lot of sense. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea to rescue a lot of sense at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right, let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface, but that can't be right. You look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Operating at full capacity. Liam. Good. He's here. C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1. She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I find that hard to believe. That's what the railroad does, Z-1. She's from the surface. If you insist we speak in front of her, do so quickly. Right now, how many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. 
That'll take forever. Let's free those 13 all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. I'm downloading 40 mods? Jesus Christ. Liam. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, <laughs> I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. All looking forward to working with you. Yeah, 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 I bet you are. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I need something to eat immediately. I am stuck here underground for the meantime. Um, in the next stream we're going to go and chat to all of the leaders and then we're going to try and chat with Desdemona. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching the stream. This is part two. So I'll whack a part two next to it and it's in the Fallout playlist. Fallout 4 playlist anyway. Um, and yeah, my friend Sith has been tuning into the stream, chatting with me. So, whilst I have a break and go and get something to eat, that's when I'm going to download Fallout 76. And he's going to teach me everything I need to know in regards to playing Fallout 76. So, there's a gentleman. Thank you for watching the live stream. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. Ding dong the notification.